it, baby! Speed golf, baby, let's go. I'm Adam Lorton, and it's the first U.S. Tour event of 2024 from Horton Smith Golf Course in Springfield, Missouri, a course our faithful viewers know very well at this point. And thanks to our sponsor, Missouri Ozarks Community Health, and returning to Speed Golf Baby, it's PGA professional and official Speed Golf USA rules official, Garrett Holt. Garrett, thanks for being here. Yeah, absolutely. I'm stoked. Let's go. Let's go. Long introductions are boring, Garrett, so I'm going to give you the bullet <laughs> points. Horton Smith, par 70. Time par, according to my most recent uh, mapping, 47 minutes and 55 seconds at a 4.3 mile run. Those stats are courtesy of Speed Score. Thank you, Speed Score. We had a rain delay on this Memorial Day weekend. I personally was awoken by an extraordinarily loud crack of thunder before this round kicked off. So you can expect it to be a little sloppy out there, especially on the front nine. And Luke Willett from Buckinghamshire, England, that's a London suburb in case you didn't know, from Buckinghamshire is going to be first on the tee. Luke Willett first on the tee, carrying only a six iron, Garrett. Now, yeah, yeah, I know Luke's done this a uh, couple times before. It's fun to see some of his caliber try. Yeah, incredible athlete. And there so some benchmarks that we could be thinking about here. Rob Hogan played the first nine of the second round of 2022 U.S. Open at this golf course, played it in 16 minutes and one second. Now, this the course was set up a little bit longer this time around than it was the, uh, at the time Hogan played it. But anything in the 16 minute range would be extraordinarily fast from Luke Willett. Got a third shot here from the right rough. And it's tricky when you're playing with this six iron because I think he would normally expect a lot more run out than he's gonna get, um, than he's gonna get Absolutely. today. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and I, this course sets up really well for a, a one club deal. Um, but on the wet conditions, small greens, it's gonna be tough these short approaches you can see just get grabbed there it's twice he's gotten hung up now so he's shipping from off the green for his five on the very gettable par five first all right the first tester rolls it in putter, for a not, six not, yeah a Good minute roll. 56 seconds uh just uh, a guide to those emoji that's a new feature on speed golf baby very proud of but every fire emoji signifies 15 seconds under time par and i only have it programmed to give you up to 45 seconds of emoji three fire emojis and but i realized with luke's performance here i need to program it to do up to four because there are some holes where he actually was better than a minute under time par which oh my is gosh. insane That's a foot sick. birdie <laughs> scott a little low uh kind of low cut off the tee unconventional shot shape for him full hybrid in uh probably will still have some left even after a full hybrid here you know, one thing I noticed, there was a video you threw out. I, there's no way he did this on purpose. He's in the perfect grass because we're expanding our fairways. That's the perfect lie. Had he been closer to the middle of the fairway, it would have been much wetter, soggier. Perfect lies there. You hear him calling for it to go in. Looks like it stopped just till three, four feet short of the hole. Uphill birdie putt. You cannot get a better position on this hole. And the nope. director has capitalized a four in two oh one. That is blazing fast speed from the director, and a birdie to boot. You gotta love that. All right, all right. The local lefty, Nick on the tee. That's right, Nick Gooden. Little the southpaw from Springfield. One thing I really liked about the course setup this time, Garrett, was playing from this left-hand tee box made it even easier to choose the correct line off the tee. The correct line off the tee is really toward the right edge of the fairway, trying your best to take that left-hand fairway bunker out of play. And so far, all three off the tee have played the correct line, in my opinion, off this first tee. Yeah, yeah, definitely to the right, away from that fairway bunker and the trees down the left side. Um, you can also lose a ball to the right in that rough. Um, good little approach. Yeah, eagle putt for Nick Gooden. Uh, hammered that putt, Puts though. away from you. I yeah, will that say, can't get away from you. It's tiny green. It is a small green. It's domed, so yeah, it's easy for that putt to run away. I will say that my first few putts on these greens in the rain, uh, I was surprised how fast they were rolling. So yeah, three putt par for Nick Gooden. A bit disappointing for him. 
uh, but he is on his way to the second. And here's our fourth featured speed golfer, Lauren Cup. Very pleased that Lauren could make the journey. She flew in at like 11 p.m. the night before, flew out probably, well, actually flew out at 2.30 p.m. the day of, uh, the day of round two. So a quick trip for Lauren, but fun to watch her play. Absolutely. Anytime you can get uh, two or three different world record holders on your golf course in the same event, it's awesome. So happy to have her. We will take that. Now, as you're watching this, you're going to see Lauren compared head to head with uh, with the men. Um, the way we did this was extremely scientific, which was um, I added five minutes to the men's time par and called that Lauren's time par. Why five minutes? Because that felt that feels about right. She looks like she is uh, maybe two twenty out there. So, yep, playing it as Pretty a three shot decision. Right yeah. Yeah, Lauren mentioned she had previously been carrying six golf clubs, which, you know, to me is so, so heavy. She's paired mm. it down to five, but the club she dropped was the five wood, which would have mm. come in handy right there. Oh, she's on the dance floor. It's pretty good. We'll see if this putt gets away from her. Birdie putt. Excellent yeah. line. Just you know, left it a bit short. It's not too bad. It really can get away from you. I mean, that green looks so tame, but that front part does roll away. It does. And a nice five for Lauren Cup and Scott Dolly, your leader, after being a minute and seven under time par. And, of course, a birdie, a birdie as well. He is going to be first up at the par four fourth. 403 on the card. Played every bit of it today. Watch that. And that ball right. is heading to the right side. And we've seen a couple of speed golfers get into tree trouble here. Oh, look at this. Taking full is. advantage of the lift, clean, and place rule. Mm -hmm. Really bailed himself out there. But a long way to go. That must have, That's a long way. Yeah, that's probably 180, 190. Yep. Yeah, doing that hybrid again. We talked about that last year. Well, um, when I talked to Scott uh, privately, yeah. he said... He just doesn't feel, doesn't have confidence with the driver. So he knows that on paper it's a worth, you know, a shot, a shot and a half per round. Uh, but if he can't line up to the ball confident that he's going to get it anywhere near the fairway, he just can't hit it. And he knows he can hit the, he can hit fairways with this hybrid and he's comfortable hitting, you know, six, he's comfortable hitting six irons in when he has to. So we, nice. Yeah. We just clean up there. witnessed in front of these greens. They're so small and sometimes so firm. You got to land it short, and you just saw how wet it was in front of these greens. It's going to be a really tough test to to carry it onto the front and then stop it. Absolutely right. That Three seventy eight like from the line. front tee, still a very long hole. Nice contact there from Lauren. Center of the fairway. And I'm looking forward. We haven't had Lauren Cup on a broadcast where we've had shot box times, but we do have shot box times coming up on hole five and. And so okay. I'm very curious to see how Lauren stacks up. When we measured her shot box time in the world championships, it was considerably slower uh, than some of the other top speed golfers. And mm -hmm. so I'll be curious to see, yeah, see how it stacks up. I'm very confident Luke Willett is, is going to have extraordinarily fast shot box time today playing with one club. That helps. But yeah, how yeah. will Lauren stack up uh, against Nick Gooden and Scott Dolly, both of whom have um, certainly elite level mm -hmm. shot box times? Yeah, Nick's is pretty pretty thin. There's not much, not much extra time to speed up there. And I've seen Nick hit a driver, including teeing it up, in under ten seconds. Under ten seconds of the driver is fantastic. Okay, now we know. Lift clean in place. called out to confirm that it was lift clean in place. I'd forgotten about that little detail. <laughs> All right, here's Nick Gooden. Forty seconds under time par after hole number one. The time par really, uh, you get it just like you get an advantage on a par five as a regular golfer. You also get a time par advantage as a speed golfer because built into every time par is five strokes and each stroke in time par is accounted for as 15 seconds. So because you should be expecting to hit shorter shots around the green, uh, you're really getting, you're, you're getting some bonus time every time you play a par five, uh, from a time par point of view. Interesting. It's the details. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought he had drained that. Near miss on the birdie putt for Nick Gooden. Strong start for the southpaw. Yeah, it's pretty good. Those first two holes, I know, a par on number one. feel like you leave something out there. But number two is not, not too easy. No, a four on number two is always going to be even longer score with a six bo- iron. My book. Yes. <laughs> Much credit to our camera operator, Aiden, who is doing his darndest, along with a, golf, a dedicated golf cart to keep up with Luke Willett, who's absolutely flying on this golf course. And look at that. Effectively zero seconds of transition after the swing because he just starts running. Mm-hmm. Now two, it's so much fun with one club. Oh, it is so much fun. Two six irons get him just short of the green here, and again, Ooh, good play. Yep, he played it beautifully, and it still got hung up in that mm-hmm. wet spot. That is so wet. Yeah, unlucky there. Although really nicely played. Looks like a tap in. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah. It's two sixes in a row to start the card for Luke Willett. Two sixes and six fire emoji. All right. And so through two holes, Scott Dolly on top. Nick Gooden trails by 27 seconds. All right. And I'm going to ask you your first over under, Garrett. Hole three, sure. time par is a minute 29. But. It should be playing fast uh, for these players early in the round who still have their early round adrenaline. So over under a minute 15 for Scott Dolly here. Uh, Under. All right, guys, we're here back for the 2024 Missouri Speed Golf Open. Love Springfield, of course. I've shot the world record. We're looking forward to giving it another shot today. It's a little wet out here. So I'm really trying to lower my expectations. Just go out there and let the round come to me. I've been working hard on my swing, working hard on my short game, working really hard on my running. So it's all inside of there. Just got to let it come out today. Go have a good round. Minute six. So, yes, under for Scott Dolly. I'll ask you the same question for for Nick Gooden. Over under a minute 15. Oh, he'll be under. It's like he's trying to play a little high cut there. It's probably a little bit Pole too cut. much for a full seven iron. Did pull it a bit. And again, this domed green, tough to sp- stop it in the right spot. Very tough. Came out. That was pretty little, well played. Yeah, it came out nice. It looked like the contact was not perfect. And Nick was playing with a bullseye putter last time we saw him in Missouri. It's like he's got something a little more updated. It's a four in a, exactly a minute 15. I guess that's a push. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Or that's when the house wins. Yeah, the house wins there. Yeah. All right. Over under minute 15 for Lauren. Uh, I mean, 120 yards away, I'll say under. A fair prediction. Oh. Straight as she hits it. Look at that. Look at that. That's where you want to leave on number three. It still has some curve to it. A little right to left. Oh. Oh, shoot. Yep. Thought I had it. Is that a pull or a misread, do you think? I think a pull. I think so, too. Minute six. Right again, Garrett. All right, last one. Luke Willett, over under it, one minute. Like you minute. said, it's pretty early in the round. I mean, yeah. you do that on maybe a whole 12. Over under one minute for Luke Willett. Uh, I'm going to say over. Although I feel like you're leading me with this question, but... I set a, a tougher oh. standard for Luke because he's playing with one club and he's an extraordinarily fast That's human being. That's great there. Very nice placement there. Whew. No stress. Nice. No stress. He's off the six train. Four seconds. I mean, that's, wow. that's half a stroke gained, especially in those conditions. You're going to have to do that if you're going... 16, 17, 18 minutes for the front nine, right? Mm hmm. Missouri Ozarks Community Health is a mission driven nonprofit that delivers preventative care in Southern Missouri. If you live in Southern Missouri and you don't have a primary care doctor, or you need a dentist, a therapist, pregnancy care, you can find a clinic near you at mo ozarks.org. That's mo ozarks.org. Back on the fourth tee at the Missouri Speed Golf Open, 
the director, Scott Dolly. Now, this is a very tough hole to not have driver. Scott Dolly found the right rough there. That did not look like the best contact. It looked like he may have popped it up a little bit. So I think this will be a three-shotter for him. This par four fourth is very tough unless you have a uh, hit a great tee shot. Important. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a long climb, uh, okay. right about the one mile mark, and it's wet. That's right. And I have not given Scott on, nearly Scotty. enough credit. Beside the green in two, though, not the normal uh, touch we would expect from the director there. All right, it's going to be a. Tap in five. In two minutes and 32 seconds. Now with Scott's bogey, Nick Gooden does have a chance to take the lead here. Driver in hand. Look pretty good there. No look. What would it mean for you to go represent the USA in Japan? Uh, boy, that would be awesome. Um, I was, growing up, I was like the patriot of patriots <laughs> as far as kids go. Man, I love America. I just love it. Um, it would be really cool. I always imagined when I was a kid, I would represent the U.S. in the Ryder Cup. Yeah. <laughs> um, things uh, things are, are much different. Um, obviously, this is a much smaller scale, but um, man, I've got a sense of pride. I'm an American. It'd be cool to go over there and, and, and rep Team USA in any capacity. Oh gosh! Ooh, those he are is nice. so confident with the direction of those rolls. Two minutes and forty seconds on the par, and he overtakes Scott Dolly by eight seconds with that. Nick Gooden, your new leader, early on round one at the Missouri Speed Golf Open, Lauren Cup. Not great contact there. That's going left, and she had mentioned that this is one hole where she likes to have the five wood. Yeah, as far as Nick, man, it sure helps having a, a golf course that you know, uh, like the back of your hands yes. on those on those rolls. It's tough, tough playing a new course like Luke or even Scott with his experience or Lauren, mm -hmm. and not really knowing all the breaks. It's what makes me so nervous about the upcoming U.S. Open. We're gonna, mm -hmm. well, you know, nobody knows Jan and Dasis other than the locals, but. There are a lot of yeah. people in the Speed Golf USA family who have played Rome Country Club a fair few times. I've played at zero, and that makes me real nervous. Uh, you'll find your ways. I'm confident I will, and I have access to the footage, so I can uh, I can piece together what that golf course looks like. There you go. All right, Lauren Cup with a bogey in 237. Luke Willett currently bringing up the rear on this tournament. Although the uh, that three on the par three third sure helped. I think that yeah, was a six iron a very, off the tee. Very long hole. Yeah, a little like a six. And yeah, yeah two twenty twenty ish out here. I think he's going to go with a six iron though. Ooh, oh, there. I heard a crack. Did that catch a piece? Okay, well, it was going to be a three shotter anyway, it but actually, it looks I've like probably got one twenty right at the one fifty. One fifty. Wow. So we think that's a one ninety club for him when he hits it full. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because one of those par threes on the back, number ten, I think he was hitting about one ninety. Mm -hmm. That very was good touch really there. nicely played going to have this to mop up for the bogey, I believe. Oh, expertly yep. done. A minute 55 there on the par 4 fourth. He trails Nick Gooden by just 51 seconds. Luke Willett moving up. Oh, Nick. Ice in his veins as he rolls that one in. All right, we're up to the par 5 fifth, and we are going to have a little bit of shot box time analysis here. Under 10 seconds is excellent with the driver. Shot box time right, starts going, going. when you put down your bag, ends when you pick up your bag. 10.6. Certainly not slow. And that was Adam Lorden running by. So how much time How much time could he have saved if he didn't grab his tee and he left it there like some people do? I'd say leaving the like tee is maybe a half second. 
seven seconds okay. there from the uh, from the number four fairway. Not a great outcome there, but elite shot box time. And this is going to add to the uh, the golf time quite a bit here, playing from the sand. Mm. Wet, heavy sand. 8.8. All right, uh, minute 59 of running, 32 seconds of golf, and a tap-in bogey for Nick Gooden there. Mm -hmm. Scott Dolly drops on the ground. Stops to look at it for just a second, 9.8 seconds, relatively slow. He's played, we've seen him hit faster than that. And yeah. Maybe he's uh, maybe he's thinking he needs to conserve some energy. And only eight tenths of a second burn out saved back. compared to Nick Gooden using a T. If you add that up over the course of a round, I mean, what do you gain from using a T? In my opinion, uh, a you gain quite a bit. I tell my juniors there's a reason they only allow you to do it one time a <laughs> hole. That's right, because it helps. So take advantage. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, Garrett, do you tee it up on every hole or only uh, only par fours and fives? Par. Uh, par, I mean, a lot of the time I'm on par threes, unless just really nice tee box. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, in speed golf. Yeah, if I'm yeah, playing slow I, I golf, mean, I'm, I'm yeah, teeing it up in, everywhere. In speed golf, I'll have a tiny little tee and maybe leave it. Or, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hit and miss. But I always tee it up with a driver. Even when I used to do five wood, I would always tee mm -hmm. it up, even with that club. Definitely. Do you have a time goal today? Uh, no, I'm just going to go really hard. Obviously, we've had a bit of rain overnight, which makes it very much like home um, for me. <laughs> so that probably means I'll go 10 minutes faster. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll just have fun. Uh, for me, golf is just a great adventure. And it's never been ever about a goal. It's, it's always been about, if I can, just to find that rare goal and have fun out there. Um, so, yeah. And thankfully, I do that quite a bit. <laughs> Oh, did he get that to perfectly pin high? Wow, beautiful. Yeah, he did. Go. Wow. All right. Eight, 18 seconds of shot box time, although I'm not sure I agree with the measurement of, of the uh, last stroke there. Anyway, that was blazing fast. Yeah, 15 mm -hmm. seconds saved, a quarter of a minute saved just on the golf. And he's still got par. <laughs> so... <laughs> Nothing lost. Yeah, after that par, Luke Willett trails uh, trails our leader by just 19 seconds. Okay, and with Scott it. Dolly making par, he takes the lead back from Nick Gooden. Yeah, Lauren definitely takes a little bit more time than others, but, you know, you can't argue with her results. She's so solid. Oh, oh. my gosh, how Yeah, 12 seconds off the tee, 10 seconds from the fairway. So a person could argue that's maybe five seconds wasted overall. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know if you, if you make up for it with a couple less sloppy shots or mm -hmm. watching your ball a little bit better, I don't know, or catching your breath. Yeah, well, when you listen to Rob Hogan, the master of shot box time, he will say, your job is to figure out how to play your standard of golf as fast as you can. Now, how you define your standard of golf is up to you. And and I think, you know, as a as an amateur speed golfer, I feel like I've found that. I shoot the same scores in speed golf as I do in regular golf. So it's hard to say that I'm not hitting my standard of golf. Yeah, that's one of those things with people uh, not experienced with this game. I mean, this we're not aiming for like just, you know, running up, smacking the ball like polo or whatever. I mean, <laughs> sure, polo people don't say that, but I mean, we're trying to hit good shots. You are penalized if you don't. Absolutely. That was a par for Scott Dolly in a minute 11. He's just plus two on the golf side through six holes and, and again in relatively tough conditions. Luke Willett, after a 6-6 six, six start, has really found a groove here. And oh. that 6-iron suits 
very nice. That six iron suits the par three distances Good out point. here very well. Yes. I mean, hole number three, six, eight, you'd take a smidge off. Ten is perfect. And then 12, um, yeah, three of the five, it's like a perfect match. You represented the uh, the USA already in a world championships. What in your, I assume you were planning to represent the USA again. What does that mean to you? I hope so. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great challenge two years ago. Um, and uh, I didn't play as well as I wanted to. So I've got a lot uh, I want to accomplish uh, in November. And look at that. The sun's come out. Mm -hmm. Just in time Ooh. for a long yeah. birdie from Lauren you know, Cup. She, she felt due for that. Those, those edges she was burning. Absolutely. Felt like she was out that one. Huge. And Nick Gooden on top of the leaderboard just a couple of holes ago. Currently sitting in fourth. I just can't believe it. The weather really did change like this. I felt like we had three seasons. It was a... <laughs> It was so wet and dark, and then it was, like, windy, and then it started to get, like, warm mm -hmm. and humid. Oh, yeah, it was glorious by the time we finished this round. A little heavy-handed there, about four to five feet for the comebacker here. This is really in Nick Gooden's sweet spot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> yeah, the announcer call. Yep early call for me should really learn my lesson let's watch that lauren cup putt one more time and that birdie rockets her to the top of the leaderboard and she now gets the pleasure and lauren cup now on top of the leaderboard is gets to tackle the par four seventh I would say the most intimidating tee shot at Horton, okay. and that was left. Left it and stayed left. got her left. attention there, yeah. Yeah, you can tell by the reaction. She wanted to watch yes. that. Luckily, seems to have found it. Going to have a pretty manageable punch out. Oh. Ooh. I heard that. Yeah. I think we're going to bleep that. No, I didn't. Hopefully they saw it. Yeah. Sometimes the shot that put you in the trees is a shot to get you out. She needs another low hook. Oh, oh come no. On. Lost ball. Sometimes when it hits it that hard, it can go anywhere. That's true. Yeah, she knows. Not, not used to. Oh. Titleist four. Okay. Titleist, not two. This is just one of the toughest things in our sport. Yes. This is this is what the uncertainty rule is all about. Which is just take a drop and yeah, keep that, playing. But man. Yeah. A little wedge shot there. This yeah, green is it so is hard just to one hold. Hole. It's a two day event, so you know, everyone's gonna have one of these holes. Not an easy putt there. That one will move a lot. A little nervous by mm -hmm. there. Right. A double in three minutes and 17 seconds. Very tough. Tough on the seventh there. Scott Dolly making his way to the tee. And a new back tee here. A little longer for these guys. Yeah. Seemed to like that one, though. Look at that little spot for his clubs just on the mm -hmm. way. Finds himself about 160. Looks like he's going to try to stretch yeah. an 8-iron. Come on now. Yeah. And I was, around hole 7, I was feeling exactly the same as Scott. Winded. Oh, yeah. It's the first, yeah, well, not the first big climb. It's the second Sorry. one on the front. But it's the one where like you're like, okay, I need to start, you know, saving some energy mm -hmm. here. This is a, I don't want to say it's a marathon, not a sprint, but it's a, it's a long round. Both Scott and and I came into this tournament with expectations about our time. Bogey, Bogey there for Scott. It goes all out the window. Yeah, yeah. and that, and I, I think that affected the way we paced ourselves. 
Yeah, Luke Willett had some interesting things about expectations because I was trying to figure out his time, you know, to calculate stuff. And he's like, no expectations, no expectations. Just going to golf and see what happens. Well, that I mean, that was actually a light bulb moment for me was uh, the first time I played Horton Smith. I talked to Rob Hogan afterward and I said I told him, frankly, I was a little disappointed with how I played. He said disappointed. So the round didn't meet your expectations. And I... (laughs) I remember that story. It's a great story. I, it was just a real uh, light bulb that's, moment for me. Well, just stop being a marooch. Stop being a marooch. No expectations, Adam. Well, yeah. And it, but the point is the expectations were the problem, not the performance. Exactly. They usually are. Yes. By the way, Garrett, have you... Oh, get, get in there. Have you read The Four Foundations yeah, of Golf by on. John Sherman? I have not okay. yet. But I've listened to stuff and checked out his website. I like a lot yeah. of it. Um, his... The whole the first foundation is all about expectations management, and um, it completely changed my relationship with the game. Mm-hmm. I've I've kind of had some similar similar things, you know, some smart people out there in the golf business, and really like what they put out. Nick Gooden in the so, left trees yeah. now. Little punch shot You're there. You're going to reference the, the. You know, I'm going to the, reference. The hole he had a couple years ago. It was incredible. <laughs> One of the most Insane. epic birdies I've ever seen. From jail. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So yeah, Nico's going to be playing that maybe a little picture in picture as we watch Absolutely. this. Third shot from Nick Gooden here. The third shot last time was in the hole. Man, but a nut. Man, that was a clutch shot right there with the wedge. Yeah. I'll take that oh any day. Oh my goodness. Unfortunate. I mean, it's just a tough little unfortunate hole. Unfortunate miss there, but a five on hole seven today is just not that bad, considering five is the best any yeah. of our featured speed golfers could manage. And Luke Willett, by virtue of his extraordinary speed, is suddenly on top of the leaderboard. He makes his way to the par three eighth. Oh, Garrett, that yeah, that gap on the right of the bench there wasn't always there. Ball. Did you have anything to do with that no, movie? I did not. No, they trimmed stuff during the winter. And uh, no, unfortunately, I don't know if we'll see Nick hurdle the bench again. But We shouldn't. Um, that sure does help us. Birdie what is this? Nice. That was birdie a birdie. from Luke Willett. 46 seconds. Wow. You know, my favorite part was that six iron shot he had on that <laughs> hole. That was a great six iron. Yeah, it was a great six iron Approach and Scott pop. Dolly on the eighth. Oh, I think he likes that. You think? Yeah, it's either a good sign or a bad. Ah! <laughs> it's in the hole. Ah! Come on! Are you serious? Hole one in a tournament, baby. Let's go. Woo! How do you think Scott Dolly There's feels about that hole card? in one, Garrett? What? Uh, it's static. static. Yeah, he was shooting straight into the I sun. Mean, Couldn't see where it had ended up. Thought he was going to find it on the maybe the back fringe, and instead found it in the bottom of the cup. That's insane. I mean, that's the only par three where you can't see the ball go in the it hole. Is. I, I'm just happy he wasn't looking around forever for that's it. True. That would have been so frustrating. <laughs> Well, it's fun. He, you know, uh, Scott and Mark Heinz, his camera operator, have developed a bit of a relationship because Mark has filmed him now three different times in Missouri, and so uh, uh, so Mark really got to share in that moment too because they've been through thick and thin together. Scott and Mark have. That's pretty cool. Par in a minute twenty-seven for Lauren. Not too bad. Just only two shots behind the director. Looked like he was taking some off of that yeah, one. Good on the tee. Presumably a seven iron, which would have to be oh, a very wow. soft seven for him. Managed to get it over the bunker, which is over really the bunker step and stay one. there. That should be about pin high, which is not too bad. No, it's a fine shot. Probably 45 very good feet. weight. Really nice. That is. <laughs> oh my gosh it's insane grab the ball and go oh, I know. what are you doing no, he's got a showboat Scott you only get one chance to do oh that oh my gosh go <laughs> yeah that's true here, boy. Yeah. 
all gravy from here. Yeah. That what's he, what's he doing with that ball? That's not right. What do you mean? Put the ball away. Oh, <laughs> save the ball. Save that's the your hole in one ball. Yeah. Oh, that's true. He, as I recall, yeah. he lost the ball save later, it, and then uh, one of our spectators found it for him. Can't see I don't anymore. know. Maybe it's a lucky ball. Yeah. So you wouldn't keep playing with it. You would. Uh, you would shelve it immediately, right? No, I probably will keep playing. I wouldn't think of it. Well, the last time I got a hole in one, weird. I kept playing mm -hmm. with it, and someone told me, put that ball away. Shoot, man. Of course, I had a drop that I had one before, which is crazy. This was Scott's first hole in That's one. That's right. He's had a double eagle before, but never a hole in one. Go ahead. Just over the green. Again, tough green to hole. Ooh, really nice. Knocks it to two feet. Going to get out of here with a par. Oh. And through nine holes, 19 minutes, 51 seconds. That Ooh, is blazing fast for the minute director. Yeah. I feel like he was more in the 22-minute uh, range last time. And, yeah, with farther back tees and a wet, soggy mm -hmm. course, what is Luke going to do? Look at him. He's just flying. Yeah, looking for anything in the 16s would be absolute world-class running and Well, that's golfing. the shortest route going down the left, left side of the right. fairway. You don't have to now with those uh, this little redesign of the the hole we're doing. Oh yeah, I think I think the line is uh, is right edge of the fairway now. Yeah, it's a safe line, but he's I mean the shortest routes down the middle or left left center. Right. A lot of water on that mm. one. I'm not sure if that was heavy or solid. Looks like it came out pretty hot. And yeah, it's rolled right up to the okay. front edge. About all you can ask for. Well, that's pretty good. Just what you do here. I think a bump and run with the six iron is what I would play. Yeah, yeah, I would do a six. <laughs> oh, easy five. 16 minutes and 17 seconds. Wow. Get out of here. Luke Breaking Willett. 40 and break. Gee whiz. Oh, oh pounded well, that one. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, 200. And again, this is where she wouldn't mind having a five wood. True. What'd she have? Do you know? Uh, I'm assuming that would be uh, five or six iron. Six iron would be my be okay. my best guess. Yeah. Still maybe a She does look 60, up to Luke Willett quite a bit. Shot. <laughs> Wedge shot get, up the left side contact. there. You got to land it short on yep. this. And she, and she yeah. did, yeah. Really nice placement. Earns her a birdie look, but not a gimme. I think that might have been a bit of a pull. Kind of a pull. Yeah, there's there's not much break on that. Maybe an overread or a pull. 24 minutes, 14 seconds with a 38 for Lauren Cup. I think most of us would take that. Mm-hmm. Every day. Gooden playing a cut, I think. Trying to watch the ball in, grab the clubs. Uh -huh. Found the left edge of the fairway here. Seven iron in hand. But that's a long way home. He's 250, I think. Yeah. And this is where a precise wedge shot can really go a long way. Played it pretty low. It's kind of a stock flight, I suppose. Oh, and it got okay. caught up that's in not, that front that's grass. Not too bad. Yeah. Looking to two putt apart I mean, here. I guess short's a miss on this. Oh, oh it caught did. the lip. Yeah, it caught a piece. Easy five, twenty two oh one for Nick Gooden. That's a good time for him. Forty shots though, not quite up to his normal standard. No, definitely not. Yeah, he had that bogey bogey streak for a little bit. Every couple weeks.
to get a new message from the Speed Golf Starter Pack. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Luke Willett, first on the tee, about three minutes under par, making the turn. All of that thanks to going around the front nine in 16 minutes and 17 seconds. Absolutely insane. I think he went with six iron, out, if I had to guess, off this 10th yeah. tee, Garrett. And it is pretty close, but that's, I mean, that's 193. Yeah. It's front edge. In dry a, conditions, that's, that's probably pin high. Long six. All right. Just a bit yeah, short. Four or five feet. Footers. Drains Go, it for a three. Him. And look at that. He is even par dating back to hole five. Even par over the last oh six gosh. holes. Good camera Dude, view here. Short. That looks solid. Yeah, it looked like it may have been a bit left. Director on the yeah. tee. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. This is. He's got to be playing with eight iron, and even as far as Scott hits the ball, eight iron is not going to get there. Oh yeah, there's definitely not. That looked pretty good. Yeah, one of my proudest moments from the weekend was I, I, I made an up and down from about there on hole ten, uh, on round two. Very Here nice. Well, it's tough to tell by their reactions, man. They mm -hmm. just that was a great little pitch. Oh yeah, but... he's locked in though. Nice three for the director minute and 16 seconds but you know with luke playing that one again in 46 seconds that's uh it's effectively oh half gosh. a shot lost by scott dolly sure. lauren doesn't love it i think but pin high on the right side oh, got a birdie putt nothing yeah. nothing to sneeze at pretty pretty high standards but Slow it down, slow it down. Speed. Yeah, not that the green looks level, but it certainly runs away to the left side, and it's not always obvious mm -hmm. as you stand on it. Oh, nice, wow. confident stroke there. A par in a minute 21 for Lauren Cup. And Nick Gooden here. How how close would you put your bag to your golf ball when you're swinging? Six inches farther away than Nick couldn't just put it. <laughs> that, yes, exactly. I'm like <laughs> he puts it so close. Found himself pin right. high. Nice See shot. See if he handles this better than Lauren. He, he should. should know this pot how quick it is. That looks borderline perfect to me. It's still run a couple yeah, feet by, but that good. was yeah, that was a great lag. Oh my goodness! A little oh, careless stroke yeah. there, and that's a yeah, definitely an unnecessary three putt. I would say from Nick Gooden. That's one of those times. It's like, man, if I took an extra just two seconds. Yeah, six over par. And Nick was saying this is only his maybe fourth or fifth golf round of the year, so he is normally in. He's normally a little bit more practiced. Uh, so yeah, that strikes me as a, a, the sort of stroke he would not make in October. Yeah, perhaps. We think six iron off the tee for Luke. Yeah, six iron's good play. It might leave him a six iron. Yeah, I I, I went six iron, oh, six iron go. on the eleventh, and still don't know whether it's the right decision. Frankly, I would I would find this one tough because it's all carried to the green. He's got one fifty five downhill. I wonder what he does. Like I kind of open mine up. I grip mm -hmm. lower. I do like three quarter swing. Try and get some height to it. He went too long he did. here. Look. Oh, hit a tree whoa, root. He hit that tree root. And this gets a lot harder. I'm thinking bump and run from here, most likely. Oh, whoa. It's the cup, but still a good six feet by. Tester here really needs this one for the bogey. Doesn't get it. It's going to be a double in that beautiful even par streak comes to an end. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I mean, what he's doing with that six iron is still awfully good. Yes. Scott, iron in hand as well. Really short. What was that, like a five iron or something? I think, yeah. Really nicely played there. I wonder there if we have footage Scott. of them. 
handling that that rocky area in front of the green whether they're running through it around it i went around what about you or how do you think about it well I, i've gone through it one time um i didn't play in this event but um i did go through it you kind of walk gingerly those those stones are i mean about the size of like a softball yep. so i mean you can maybe roll your ankle in there yeah if i um, hit it if i hit it through I on the left like side i would go through it because it would be too far to run around but i yeah. prefer to avoid it driver for lauren and the risk reward wow. she is rewarded with a very gettable pitch here wants to get up and down for birdie and a favorable pin i mean yes. when that pin is front this is such a tough shot here she goes that through the rocks and that six feet for birdie i would say Oh, one time she said. Well, she said two one go. times today. Minute fifty nine, three on the card. And you know it's going to be driver it's for Nick. Always driver for Nick. Now I have a question. Were, was the open division using this tee box the last time you all played in Missouri? No, no, it was about twenty five yards farther up. Wow. Oh, so this might actually be a more comfortable driver for Nick. It might be, but it's still a long one. I mean, it's, that's a long, it's a long way. That's a long, it's about 310 probably. I mean, is Lauren hit driver from her tees and she was in front of the green. She's 40 yards up. I think up. it's 310 as the crow flies, but I may be wrong. Oh my goodness. Two rolls short of a, of a two putt birdie there. That's a four in 209. Sorry. I know Garrett, not technically a two putt. He was off the green with the first one. That root <laughs> shot from Luke Willett. I was still caught up on how far Nick hits it. <laughs> I suppose yeah, he I could mean, have gotten a kick through the rocks like for all we know, but it looked like, don't like don't he hit, hit it comfortably. All right. The dangerous it's par 3 12. It, I mean, everyone's leaning on, on their strength here. You know, Luke his speed and creativity, Nick his length. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, Scott his hole-in-one ability. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, we've got a favorable pin position here. We don't have the, the really tough one. Yeah, this is gettable. I mean, it's a bit of a sucker pin if you want Ooh. to try to go straight at it. But Look if you're at going that. at the middle of the green. And he's going, around, yeah, he's going around the bunker on that side. It all depends on where that pin it's is. true. Because then your commute from that hole to the next tee chooses your route. I agree. And I don't think there's actually a right or wrong decision on the transition from 12 to 13, because if you go uh, left around the bunker, you have to take on that mound, which is a bit of an energy waster, whereas it's a flatter, but longer trip to go around to the right. Six iron out of the bunker. Oh, here's that bunker for Luke Willett. Yeah. Oh, and he's oh, stayed no, out of the okay. other bunker, which is absolutely clutch. Yeah. Still a little back and forth yep. here. Not the most efficient way to play oh, it. Yikes. A little chunky on the six iron there. But six iron putt. Oh, and it lips oh, out for the right. four. Bad break. Right. That is a double, double for Luke Willett. A minute 12 feels like it should have turtles yeah. all over it for him. <laughs> Have you done the one club that much? Only a couple of times. I mean, it's so freeing. I, it's unbelievable how much lighter weight oh, it it's, is. Oh, it's fun. Yeah. But then sometimes, like, during the round, you're like, this was such a bad decision. You know, I can't hit this shot or that shot. And other times, like, this is so much fun. You know, just having one club, yeah. which makes that cue thing so exciting. I know. Well, the, the other thing about playing with one club for me is I, I never Very realized nice how much I rely on my on the, uh, you know, the slowing down and the setting down the clubs like to catch my breath when I don't mm -hmm. have to do any of that stuff. Oh. All of a sudden, it's just so hard to keep the heart rate under control. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a good little workout thing. You know, if uh, we haven't talked about like golf training or speed golf training and speed golf workouts. But if you want something that's more like a, a tempo or high intensity yeah, there's no let up with the one club. Yeah, this is actually something I've been. What a uh -oh. putt! Uh -oh. Drop! Oh my Holy gosh! Cow. Birdie for Nick Gooden. Uh, is that the spark that the South Pond needed? Love to see that. On yeah, the par maybe. I, you know, I love to see. I love to see the clubs off the green. I mean, <laughs> I love Nick, but look at those clubs off the That's green. Exactly That's exactly where they belong, Garrett. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there you go. It's putting the ball on a good Our five patch of grass. Our for Scott Dolly suddenly finds himself in the lead after two double bogeys in a row from Luke Willett. Man, this leaderboard just keeps changing. A lot of changes here on day one. Love to see it. Hybrid, hybrid for Scott. Oh, no. I think if he hits it, yeah. if he hits two good ones, he should be. He should have a, like a 20, 30 yard pitch. No, he's found himself almost pin high here, and outside the bunker. The I mean, bunker. this is I don't a know where good that, placement. Yeah. Wants to get up and down for bird. I, I never thought. Yelling, sit. We got pretty good. All right, got himself about six feet for the bird. Confident Dolly. stroke just on the You're right. Throwing lip. It away, buddy. Tough. Oh, come on. But look at all those fire emoji. This is this is a nice. new Scott Dolly who's been running for 190 days in a row. We'll see if he can maintain that speed all the way to hole 18. Another big poke for Lauren Cup here on the par five. Let's see what she has. Eh, 202. 202. Okay, Not taking driver fair. off the deck. Going to be a three-shotter again. Totally fine strike. Now, that's the sort of thing that can happen in these wet conditions. Very un Lauren Cup like shot. Yeah, and she'll uh, casual water, get to move at club length. Now, how do you follow up that shot with this one? Okay. It was a fluke. Yep. Really nicely play that played there. Ooh, what are we oh, what we have yeah, here? This is Gatchik. Uh, is going to pass Lauren Cup on this hole. Found himself in the bunker through two. Mm. Oh my gosh! It, it's going to be a six for Lauren All Cup. Right, three and a half away. minutes. And the broadcast uh, debut of Gatchik. Yeah. Gatchik from Arizona. I'd never played with him before, although he played in the 2022 Speed Golf World Championships. He bombs it. He hits like 290. Yeah, hit it great on oh, the first tee. He, he lost one in the right That's rough right. on I one of those that. mornings. Had a triple bogey and shot three over on the front, I think. Luke Willett in second place. I'm not sure why he showed up fourth or third in the broadcast order. I'll take a look at that. Is that a little hundred yard shot? I think yeah. it was. Yeah, not too not too badly played. No, really oh, nice. that's that's really think, good. Yeah. I'm thinking he'll play six iron bump and run here. Oh man. Oh my god. Twice he's hit the lip with that. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god. Over here. Over here. Yep. Now do you think it crosses his mind or anyone else's hitting an approach? Yes, I want to be on the green, but if not, I'd rather be short to save time. Or, like, am I okay going long? It certainly crosses it seems like my he's mind. Always just short every time. Are you always going for the front of the green? What, right, and, and you wonder how much of that it's is the wet conditions and, and how much forth. of that is his mindset as a speed golfer. Because there are some of these that yeah. look like he's playing them perfectly for slightly drier conditions, and there are some of these where. It does look, or yeah, it does kind of speak to his instincts as a speed golfer to just keep it under, keep it short yeah. of the hole. That's going to be very heavy. Very heavy sand. Tough bunker shot there. Oh, very good. Gets it out. That's going to have, it looks like to me, about eight feet for the birdie here. You know, he, he still does the, the little slow golfer thing of tapping the cleats with the, the sand wedge. <laughs> I love that. Some ha old habits die hard. Yeah. Real quick, Garrett, I'm going to ask you... Oh, actually, we're going to watch this uh, replay scoreboard, and then I'm going to ask you to pause and take a little trip down memory lane. Do you remember what happened in hole 13 of the U.S. Open 
uh, for Jason Hawkins. Is it is it no. not the ball exploding? He uh, he double hit. <laughs> oh, oh gosh! Whoa! Why are you looking over there, Hawk? No yes. way. You're gonna we're gonna see this in ultra slow mo, Jay. He double hit this ball. Wow! It's borderline impossible to do, but he he hit the ball once and then yanked it to the left on his follow through. I've never seen a double hit with a full swing. I'm also amazed at how not far the ball went. He only, only advanced it 100 yards yeah. or so. I mean, the, the second oh, yeah, hit like exactly. slowed it down and stopped it, I guess. <laughs> two two freak occurrences for Jason Hoggins in that same tournament. And he was, I mean, he was in the hunt up until that ball. On the tee, par four, 14th. This is the beginning of five par fours in a row. Scott takes the hybrid just up the right side. He leads Luke Willett by he's, he's two minutes one and 36 club. seconds. Using that free relief option of one club length, maybe get around some tree trouble because the lie looked the same. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. it's twice he's used that uh, one club length to his advantage. Mm-hmm. To me, like the oh, fatigue is Too catching long? up with Scott. That oh, was a yeah. Careless, yeah, that was a mental. Careless greenside shot. He is normally yeah, so like clean contact was fine. on those. 12, 15 feet for the par. Oh, and he almost nailed it. Okay. Three foot comebacker for Bogey. Bogey. Bogey in two minutes, oh, was, 24 I mean, seconds. I'm Pleasantly surprised following up a hole in one with five straight pars. I mean, you start thinking about, oh my gosh, what's happening? Things are going really good. It is easy to get in we that like mindset. We like to say in speed golf, there's less time to think, and there is less time to think, but there's still enough time to think. Absolutely. All right, this can be long, long approach, 200 easily. I think a good strike should get him uh, to the front edge, though, being a downhill hole. All right. Finds just in the right rough. I'm thinking six iron bump and run here, probably. Yeah. He just got that wet approach to yeah, it. But the, the course has oh, dried up so played. much compared to the front nine. Par putt here for Luke. Oh, this would be a yeah, nice one to get. Pulled. Just runs it by on the left side. Oh, one foot. I thought he was going with the back side of the club. There. <laughs> that is discipline that he has not done that once, not even on the shortest putt. Yeah. Lauren Cup, driver in hand, trails Luke by about three minutes here. Yeah. Just driving it well now. Oh, they're still playing alongside. That's right. Getchik. Way up That's there by the 100-yard marker. Oh, yeah. no. oh, no. Well, she's taking a little extra time, but she knows she has to wait kind of a little extra on the next tee shot, so... Mm -hmm. Our putt here for Lauren. She this would gain her set in the back down. Yeah. Takes relief from a ball mark. So I wonder. She's used to putting with the bag on her back. Earlier, I saw Nick putt two handed uh, instead of one handed. Uh, yes. Do you yep. find uh, yourself or other people mostly just stick to the one thing or like? you know go back and forth if the conditions warrant it um i mean nick has shown over and over that he'll go he'll put with two hands if he can get away with it but he will not um he won't take extra time to put the bag away and i'm assuming that lauren plays enough slow yeah. golf that she is uh she's adept with the two hand putting but you one thing i've observed in myself is you know i put one handed with the kids putter um and I still do, yeah. I, I still that. do that, yeah. um, even if my bet, if my clubs are down. But what I found is, if I don't have to hold my clubs, I putt a little bit better with the uh, with the kids' oh. putter. Okay. 
I wonder what shot Nick was playing there. It was like a half sandwich. That is, uh, um, yeah, unusual. Uh, yeah, and I end up short, so three on. But Garrett, I've seen you putt one-handed a fair amount, but I assume you putt two-handed when you're playing slow golf. Nice par. Yeah, and I, I will I will change as situations warrant. Um, I did have, you know, when I first started doing that, I, I switched one-handed to two-handed mid-round, and then I started hitting it way too hard, mm, I think. Interesting. Um, but I, I think I've just experienced, you know, going back and forth so much that you get used to it. But. but you are absolutely right that if you're not accustomed to that, there is a different touch, one-handed putting versus two-handed putting. Like if I so this is uh this started the stretch you were you were dead on with your assessment you and Scott leading up to this the preview of a couple holes with like kind of blind tee shots where you kind of crest a hill. Right. So really watching your ball is paramount. I agree. And having an excellent scorekeeper uh, really helped. Man, Josh, shout out to you, my friend. I I lost zero balls, which is uh really wow. a first for me. Wow! 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 Is that good wear or bad wow? I'm guessing bad that seems wow? he did not seem happy with that. Oh yeah, the rollout maybe. Scott on top of the leaderboard for now. Is that a birdie look? I think I'm that's thinking a par. that's, that's for a par. par. Yeah, because he missed a green and yeah, there was three on for this will be five. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <gasps> Announcer's curse. Oh my gosh. That was careless. Double. And that's that's what that end just... of the round fatigue. Seven on the card yeah. for Scott Dolly. Oh my gosh! You know, everyone says after the round, yeah, I left a few out there. He left, left a few a shots few out there. Scott left on on precisely one two yeah. out there. And this, we would call this a pretty good opportunity for Luke Willett. Sure, I mean it's going to be a long one. So I mean, par is awesome, but kind of in the bogey range because he's got. Probably two thirty. I think you're right. And I'm I'm thinking he's going to like to play this six iron, six iron. This is about as good as you could hope for. Yep. Yeah, he's found himself short here. A little wet part to uh, get through. Hits it just into the upslope. That was really really nicely done. Just past pin high there. Has a shot at par. Little does he know this is looking really good. Misses the par putt, but now discipline on the comebacker right in the center. And that's a five in a minute 58. Wow. All things considered, putting with that six iron, uh, he's doing a great well, job. Well, and really putting was the thing that bit him in the in the last U.S. Open. He was on camera at um, at Oldham County Country Club in Kentucky. That was and it. Yeah, uh, he had several missed putts with his – seven iron that i think he would not have had with a putter and i think he's clean to did he only do one club there no he, he just like have a few and he played with a seven yeah maybe he was actually putting with a pitching wedge um no he was playing with three clubs and uh was not carrying a putter and in my opinion that mm. his his putting cost him several shots and i'm seeing that he's cleaned it up quite a bit in between last year and this year Nice finish from Lauren Cup there. A four in two minutes and 34 seconds. Well, it's a good sound. Mm -hmm. I'll just put that sound like on repeat. <laughs> just, you know, just put it on a loop. 103 yards out. I mean, that is a bomb. That's huge. huge. 103 yards out is a big advantage. And look at that advantage Stuck payoff. Stuck it to, what, three, four feet? Birdie look here for Nick Gooden. Yeah. Nice birdie yes. for the southpaw. That's wow. two birdies on the back. He's one under on the back nine. And this is uh, really the form we've come to expect. And that's bearing the lead. And on, when, by that, I mean Luke Willett now in the lead of this golf tournament.
final three holes of the Missouri Speed Golf Open round one. Luke Willett, the only one under par after a super unfortunate triple bogey after a couple of careless putts from Scott Dolly there. Luke playing only six iron, and he has just a little over six iron distance. I call that, what, 205 left? Yeah. Yeah, definitely over two. But it is a bit downhill. Does kind of funnel into this green. So I think... Oh yeah, my look gosh. at this. Nearly pin high center of the that green. incredible. Has himself a rare birdie look. But these long ones with six iron... That, they're hard. You have to hit them he's so He's had a precisely. lot in the eight, eight or ten foot... Yeah, you do. He's done well from the eight, ten foot range, but... That was a missed putt that you, you would expect to see him make with a putter. But those have been few and far between this round. And that's a five in a minute, 49. Two fire emoji. That means he gained 30 seconds. So that's not even a full bogey. That's half a bogey. Scott, not loving the contact there with the hybrid. Think Is, is this more uh, mental fatigue, physical fatigue? I mean, taking the hands off clubs kind of like, seems like physical, but. Yeah, in, you know, in my mental model of endurance, it's all the same thing, which is, you know, one, once you've used up so much attention, energy, and also physical energy, then there's just a lot less to go around for your brain and your body. Yeah. All right, four feet back for the par for Scott. Nice That's a great Very good. bounce back after that careless nice to triple. Steady the ship. Lauren Cup leads Nick Gooden by just a little over twenty-five seconds or thirty-one seconds, I suppose, if I can add that. There's there's a big row of trees separating 16 that we're on and 15. And for some reason, like 15, I still feel like there's a lot of golf left. Once I get to 16, I'm like, I'm so close to the finish. Because you got 16, 17, 18 there. Yeah, I just can't agree with you, Garrett. Because especially with the uh, uh, using the longest tee box on 18, I don't feel like the round. Well, I don't feel yeah. like the round is nearly over until I've crested the hill and I can see 18 green. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and you can find your ball after oh 18. Oh, my gosh. One foot for par, two pars in a row for Lauren Cup. Very good. Closing strong here. And Nick Gooden fresh off the birdie. Looking to add another one. He's got some good length. Just watching it closely. Mm. Bit of oh, tree yeah, that's trouble a here, although with I that think length, his little gotta, high cut, yeah. oh, I suppose with the lob wedge, it's tougher to play a high cut. Gets it to the front edge. It's really a pretty fine outcome there. Leaves himself about six feet for par. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that was going to curve that way. Slow Yeah, bogey. that's probably one where if he took a little extra time, like regular golf, he'd, he'd want to chip it a lot closer than yeah, that. Yeah, his direction was, was off on that leave. chip in a way that it, you mm, just wouldn't expect yeah. it to be in yeah. you know, with no time pressure. Yeah, he he'd he'd be looking to chip it to three three foot at most. Luke Willett, now your leader on hole seventeen, and Garrett, I've got another over under for you. Time par in this hole two yes. minutes twenty six seconds. Luke Willett, over under two minutes, my friend. Oh, under. I think he'll go like one forty. Easy under two minutes, says Garrett. Six iron, six iron, and that is actually appropriate six iron distance right there. Mm -hmm. He hugged that left uh, that left it, side of the fairway, and that yes. helps. He's actually all the way over the green. This guy has power, man. And a couple inches. Uh, there's a huge tree to the left of that fairway, so he missed that. Really unlucky bounce oh, there. That like looked this. like it was 
Yeah. I think it was on track to be just fine. Touch it. Oh! So, there we go. A minute 54 seconds, Garrett. You were okay. right under two minutes. And that is a clutch four as wow. Luke Willett comes down the stretch. That's just bonus. All right. Over under time par for the director. Two minutes, 26 seconds. Uh, over. He does look like his energy is flagging. I know I oh. carry it. Uh, There's no doubt. Did you see it hit the tree? Oh, boy. Yeah, there's... Huh? I mean, if, if you miss the trees... Gosh, dang it. Yeah, you hit the trees, you're in trouble. You miss the trees, you still have to, like... You're around the trees. You you have to kind of guess where the ball's going to be on the other that side. That is what's so tricky. In the 17th, I think, is the toughest. Yeah, with that blue tee, you, you, you cover that area, and you don't know how far past mm -hmm. it goes. Taking a drop here. Par putt from the back of the green. <sighs> well, it's been a heck of a par. You really but... did it. Five. All right, five and 238. Tough after. Garrett, two for two on his over-unders. Lauren Cup, over-under 226. Over. over. Yeah, we'll say over. Perfect. Oh, that's an aggressive line. Pounded it. It's a good lead there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just a little extra time with that shot box, but... Like a little driver nine iron, perhaps, for Lauren. Birdie yeah. putt here. Still don't know if she's going to go under 226. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, these guys are putting so well. 230, just four just seconds over. over. All right, nice job. Man, these guys are just, they're all leaving. They could all say they left four or five shots out there. Completely agree. All right, last one, Garrett. Over under two minutes, 26 seconds wait, wait. for Nick Good. Gooden. Doesn't like oh, the T-shot. Okay, I saw the reaction. I'll say yeah, over. Right. Yeah. Where is that? That is 15. Yeah, lost it out left, but it's just extra running. At least you mm -hmm. found it, though. Yeah, really not a bad spot. So it's saving a shot on Scott. Just gets it to the middle of the green. Looking for a two-putt par here. Pretty basic putt. Won't move too much. Perfect distance. Leaves it to a foot. Very nice. That is clinical precision. That's what we come to expect from Nick Gooden. Whether he hits the, the fairway he intended to or another fairway. Boom. And it is what? Yeah, very good. Luke Willett, 11 minutes under time par as he approaches the 18th tee. Six iron in hand. And he's still got a little spring in his step. My gosh. Oh, yeah, he sure does. Gonna, yeah. gonna take more than a six iron, I would say, to get home in two from here. Mm hmm. The weedy, the yard. And this is where I start to feel right, like the on. end might be near at Horton. <laughs> All right. Now where'd that Luke go? On in the three. Puddles. Oh, that's pretty Looking good. Two putt this for bogey and get out of here in under 36 minutes. Ooh. So... Yep. That's, uh, that's a, the same problem you have on number 10 where it looks flat, but it actually runs away from you. Where's... <laughs> Oh my gosh, three putts. Right, Wait, no, four putts. Right. It's following the That's same line. <laughs> I love his attitude, though. He's just, that was interesting. Yeah, that, it was like it was like there was a line in the green that just kept following that like trough. Oh, 
36 minutes for Luke Willett. Can you believe oh it? Good luck, guys. That looked pretty solid. Where do you put his clubs over there? Good call. One Scott. club. Third time taking relief from a tree. Although he could, he could have gotten a swing on that anyway. Yeah, I think that's going to be around 150. No, maybe 170, 80. Yeah, that's about a 180 tree. 190. Mm -hmm. Wedge from the director. Looking to get up and down for the par here. Still got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and that was extra tricky because it was upwind while also downhill. Yeah, that wind started Did. picking up. Nice finish there from the director. Two putt bogey, crossing the finish line. Okay, well done. Thank you guys. In 43 right. minutes, 18 hey. seconds. Sloppy finish. Sloppy finish. We agree, Scott. But I'd, I'd say it was a sloppy start as far as conditions. <laughs> it was a uh, tough round for everyone. Agreed. Good. Yeah, we should say hats off to We all should all them. cut ourselves a bit of slack, I suppose. Absolutely. Lauren Cup, driver off the tee. Good position mm -hmm. there. Sounded good. Looked like good contact there. See if we can see a par from a featured speed golfer, Garrett. Yeah, let's get one. Maybe a bird. Good pace. Oh, she thought she made Very it. Very good. All right, nice roll. Cruises across the finish line. You remember that putt she had at the last hole at Glen Oaks in Kentucky? Oh, yeah, I there? know the one you're talking about. It Super was long putt over, over yeah. a ridge and through a valley and finished an inch from the hole. Yeah. Oh, good grief. Nick's oh, so disappointed uh, with the driver. It's an aggressive line. You can cut some off, but then you end up to left. There's tiny trees. That's number two. Oh, yeah, he's over by number two. That's far offline. The last two holes. So far, he had to hit seven iron, it looks like. See, that's normally a driver lob yeah. wedge for him. I know I know. he had to rush off to work right mm. after this because he's a youth pastor and it was Sunday morning. But that's one of those things, after the round, I guarantee he would have been on the range trying to figure out why that ball went left on those last mm -hmm. two. Oh, really nicely played with the wedge there. Got yeah, a chance nice. to clean this up for a par after an inauspicious start. Two-hand putt. And he pulled it. Finishes it with the one hand. <laughs> yeah, and now oh, he's forgotten geez. to cross the line. Oh, gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> yes, a new rule with this finish line. Right. Something we've talked about with Nick Gooden. Go, I mean, go, he's go. a golfer who thrives on routine. And we are disrupting his routine by adding this start-finish line here. Bogey in 309. Yeah. Turtle on the card. 48 minutes, 32 seconds. And uh, we'll just say that's... Yeah, a 76 is not up to Nick's normal standards. And with uh, that nice par on the last, Lauren Cup, your leader after 18 holes of the Missouri Speed Golf Open. Wow, look at that. That's that. crazy. All right, that's going to do it for round one of the Missouri Speed Golf Open. Thanks to you, Garrett Holt. Thanks to the volunteers, camera Absolutely. operators, the competitors, everybody who made this video possible. And if you made it this far, would you please consider subscribing to Speed Golf Baby? It doesn't cost you anything. helps us a little bit. And, of mm -hmm. course, look out for the round two broadcast coming soon. Garrett, anything else to say? Yeah, hit that subscribe button. Uh, yeah, uh, follow this. This is uh, I'm so excited for round two. How do you how do you follow up a round with a hole in one and a 36 minute and all the fire emojis? What's going to happen on day two? Well, it's incredible. Only one way to find out, Garrett. Speed golf, baby. Let's go.